Kim from K Diamond Paints. I have part two for my GBFKE unboxing, the last haul that I had. Being an 80s girl, you would think I would know better because part twos famously, you know, went so well in the 80s. But what are we gonna do? We're just gonna give it a try because it just ended up being too much for me. So we've only got three left. Let's just see how it goes. Okay. This is where something good happens, finally. There's only three, but they all seem to be pretty good size. And they seem to be doing this now where they're putting them in two bags instead of like just letting it lay, um, stick out the top or something, they're putting them into two. So that's pretty nice. Oh, this one is a little drill here and one here. We'll see how that goes. If something's actually opened or... I've noticed that too. I saw a couple of stray drill... Oh no, this one's open. Oop. See that? We're getting, okay, let's start collecting and I'll turn this, oh, oh, these are stuck right to it, right? This is a great way to start. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Is it Monday? It must be a Monday I'm posting this. This seems like a serious Monday thing to happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're kind of stuck all over the place. It's sticky. Well, that makes sense. Where else would, how could you stick in a place that's not sticky? All right, I'm going to turn this down so hopefully nothing else gets caught at least on the way out and let's see what we have going on here okay so we're oh I, sh I just I know it's open and I just threw it here's more here's a couple more okay so it's yellow <laughs> I can see them floating around in there oh yeah I see them all all floating around. This must mean it's a Monday. So this is a different, all of a sudden they have this different company that they're um, getting some diamond paintings from. It has this nice toolkit. But if you go, I know I just started this video. I will link it below for you, the part, um, part one to this. They had some of these that are wrapped like this, exactly like this, but they were poured glue instead of double-sided adhesive. So here's the toolkit. It is a white boat. It has big wax to it. And then it has a 10 placer, which that's lovely. And then a clear pen with a grippy and a four placer on one end, which is my favorite. And then they have tweezers, the, um, Silver tweezers. Now, a couple of them came with black tweezers, too, so even better. Black tweezers are just a little bit more stable, and actually, sometimes I like these silver ones more because the tip on this is not so deathly. That tip on the um, black ones is, oh, next level. So I'll just put this to the side. This has some tape on it here, and, well, oh, I think it's on the inside. It's sealed. It's well protected. It's wrapped around a foam roller, which I think does protect. But on the other hand, I always say it wraps it so tight that they roll right up on you. But I will show you just in case you're new to diamond painting, new to my channel. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the real world. It sucks. You're going to love it. <laughs> Thanks for Stopping by. Oh, okay. Let's get the... Sometimes if you can find the end, this is so easy. It's not like tape tape. It's this really neat kind of tape. But if you can't find the end, then it's then it's just tape. Okay, I'm going to bust out the X-Acto knife. There we are. Ooh. See why you don't do that? Do as I say, don't do as I do. I nicked it. I didn't go through the paper, but I nicked the paper right there. <gasps> there you go. See, now you can see it. I didn't go through to the diamond painting, but I sure did nick the paper. Living dangerously. It just is so tight. So when you have double-sided adhesive versus a um, poured glue, which is just this sticky piece right here, when you unroll it, if you look at the back side, you can see the quality of your canvas really because it'll have, sometimes it can have ripples or pucklers or something like that. And sometimes it'll show up on the backside. So you can start here. However, if 
Can you see this? Okay, here, I have it lifted up for you now. You see those two areas right here and right there? That's really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything that looked like that on the back before. It doesn't have to mean anything or it can mean something. Let's see, ready to flip it over? Let's move everything out of the way. Okay, ready to flip. Here we go. Oh. So when they are wrapped around the foam roller like that and so tight you get this curling effect. And the best way to lay it down flat is to pull up the paper. You don't have to pull it all the way off. Be careful. I've been going faster lately and ripping the paper. But if you're just nice about it and pull it up and lay it down and pull it up and lay it down and do that to all the corners. And you see how that takes the curl right out of it. So now it lays nicely. Here, right here is where you can sort of, if I get it in the right light, can you see where those bends were? in the paper, but it was just a bend in the paper. It's no big deal. Yeah, let me pull this back and so we can see the image. I think, okay, we're upside down. Here we go. Here he goes, it's an owl. I don't know what he has in his hand. Is it a cup? Does he have coffee in his hand? It's a teacup. He's a little royal, because you see his crown, he's a little royal owl with a teacup. How <laughs> He's pretty cute. I won't, I won't lie. He's pretty cute. Okay, let me pull this up. This is another square. I say another because they've all been squares like this. Nice, clear canvas. And here is the... Whoa! Here is the key, it's a 40 by 40, and you get everything almost like a um, inventory sheet on these. So you get your number, your symbol, DMC, and then quantity. And as we go down, how many colors? 34 colors. And here is the little thumbnail. I'll put him over here. I'll go and find this for you so you can see the listing picture and then the price. Is this the first one I've done? I Just in case this is the first one you're turning into, this is GBFKE, and they choose diamond paintings to send me instead of me picking them out myself. And I always think that's great because otherwise we would just you would just continually see my style of diamond painting and you wouldn't ever get to see anything else. Anything that maybe you like or you're interested in. So I think them choosing them for me is really great. Oh, okay. So you can see I don't have it perfectly. I have a little gap here, but we don't need to continue watching me fold and unfold and fold and unfold. Um, I'll get that later. Let's look at the drills, right? Because we've got some issues there. Okay, as I was moving this over, drills are coming out. So we see that right at this end. So I have to be careful. I just got to find this bag and close it. They are everywhere. I, I wonder if it's actually open or... We shall see, but I have to do it gently. Oh, that seems open. <laughs> I thought those were inside. I didn't do that for the drama, if you saw that. They went everywhere. I thought that was one inside the bag. Okay, I'm wondering if it's this one right here. Yeah, this bag is open. That's why, okay. We can just get these guys back in here and get it taken care of already. Okay, there's that, but it looks like they're all in this bag. So let me shake everything out. Instead of just dumping it upside down, which I typically do. Oop. 
They are all throughout this thing. Wow, this thing has some really pretty um, 70s feeling colors. The gold, the orange, and the green. Yeah, I mean, that's even like that 70s gold. Look at that. I mean green. That's not gold. That's green. I do know that. I'm good. I've got it. I can do this. Oh! What? Oh. There we go. I'm trying to keep them in a pile. I'm trying to shake them into the pile right here. That's not too many yet, though. I can count those, but I can see them at the bottom here. Here we are. All right. Okay. So there's that guy and his friends. Let's look at the rest of them, though. Wow. So here's a close-up of these squares. You can see I try so hard. To stay still, but I'm not really that kind of a still, still person. I don't have that ability. Oh, look at this pretty purple. It is, what is that? It's a long number. That's a long DMC for that one. And it's got the neon green. How many colors did I say we needed? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. We need 35, so let's just count them up. Okay, we have 34. Is that what I said? 34. Oh my goodness. 34. All right, let's keep going. I think they're really pretty. If you're into a royal owl, this one's got some gold colors. Let's keep going. Number two. And looks like we've got kind of a type of situation going on here. Or maybe not. Oh. See, when they do it this way, they need to just keep the paper on here so it doesn't stick to it. I think this is a good way to package them, but not when you take the stick off this side. Why would you do that? Sticks to everything. Okay. We're just going to fold that over. Or, yeah, or fold it over. See, look, I just came up with another idea right there. Ooh, the glue's all over this. So you can see that last one that I unboxed. It's very um, Hua Canny, ever shiny, with the big key and um, type of situation and the way the symbols are and everything like that and the double-sided adhesive. But look, this is what I found in the last one. It's naked, you guys. So... Foam roller. We'll see if this one has the big key too, but I mean, it's the same type of toolkit we have with the four placer and the 10 placer. So we've got that going on. The packaging with the squares. We'll take a look at those. The tape, which normally I don't mind, which is starting to get on my nerves though. But you know what? With it, um, the double-sided adhesive, this tape comes off so easily, but with this clear plastic cover, it kind of sticks to it. So let me try and, but we're not gonna do the cutting again, because what happened last time, right? Oh, I didn't even take a look at that. I didn't even see the nick where I cut it to get the tape off. Oh, hold on. I thought I'd add this in real quick. So this is where you can see where I nicked it with the knife. And I just wanted to show you, I did not, in fact, so I did kind of go through the paper. Can you see that in the light? But if you look down here, if I can get it to shine for you, you can see the canvas is fine. So, close, but I came through all right. Okay, did I say I wasn't going to use the X-Acto knife again? I did, clearly I didn't mean it. See here, it's kind of, this tape is really cool. It sticks to itself. It doesn't really stick to anything else. Okay, let's try. Here we go with the unroll again. And so it's on a foam roller, but here we go, we'll turn it over. It's clear. 
and it has the big keys, two big keys. Oops, we're upside down. This says it's a 40, oh, that's some shininess there. Let me see if I can pull that back a little bit. 40 by 50. Here is the key. These have so many colors for so little price. It is really exciting. 33 colors. Did you see it when I flipped it over? It goes like this. It is a skull. It's a sugar skull, but it's kind of a mean looking sugar skull, isn't it? Yeah, he's slightly angry looking. Oh, the paper got flipped. As I said in the last video, I have heard tales of clear plastic that is double-sided adhesive, but I am telling you that just does not seem to be what's going on here. This is very pile, and even this canvas, this isn't the super soft velvety canvas, but it is a very um, lightweight material, and so it does have a lot of you know, fold and give to it. And if you can see here, I mean, it's just, it really feels poor glue to me, you guys. I just would never do this with double-sided adhesive. And it's fine. So I think that's what it is. This is so great. Um, So I showed you the key. Let me pull this back and I'll show you the canvas. I should have just shown it to you when I was up that close. Look at this. Isn't that go? Oh, I think we're going this way. See, that's another telltale sign that the image is portrait and it lays out landscape to do it. But look at those symbols. So nice and clear. It's a lot of confetti. And then in this background, you'll have some, I'm assuming that's 310. It's not 310. What is that? 939? It's not 939. All right. I'm going to go on a hunt real quick for what the uh what that symbol is. It's 310. I'm just being ridiculous. Anyway, he's pretty gorgeous and he was perfect for Cinco de Mayo, huh? I know we're a little bit late, but still, let's look at the drills that go with this guy. Wow. This is an image that I would have said would have been maybe a 30 by 30, 30 by 40 partial special shapes. Am I right? Aren't you feeling that from this? But this is pretty spectacular. What did I say for colors? We said, oh, look at this bag. Sure enough. Is there any 310 here? I would say, oh uh, yeah. There's just a touch of 310 here. Look at these. Look at this one. That's um 606. Oh. These are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Here's another big bag. This must be the skull color. 4639. Four, no, no, no. That's the um, that's the amount. Excuse me. I'm like, I don't know what number that goes up high. 712. You can see there the backs and the quality. Oh, look at these turquoise. This is going to be super fun. I hope I put up the image for you already. So you can get a sense of where all these colors are coming from. Look at this green. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Let me count them up real quick. Perfect count. Perfect count. So, all right, we're... I really am enjoying these with the big keys and the um, poured glue and these gorgeous squares. Let's see what we have for the next one. Okay, I'm really interested to see what this last one here. See, look, leave the tape on. This just makes sense, am I right? Um, I'm really interested to see. Oh, that was the wrong side. Nope, they took the tape off, you guys. But I see why they did it here, because they wanted to hold it in place, but still. Oh, we've got another um, double-sided adhesive. And, oh my gosh, look at this big bag of three, 
310? 310 in here. And look at these beautiful colors. All right, let's see what we have. <gasps> wow, you guys. Look at this kit. Who is this one from? We've got another. Look at how big this boat is. Um, look at how big this boat is. And Okay, there we go. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so we have this huge boat. I have never, ever had this size boat in a toolkit. Whoever these people are, thank you so much. And, I, you know, I appreciate that. That's really fantastic. With the tall sides, look at how tall that side is on there. Okay, so here's the regular white boat. Here is that one. Look at that. That's pretty good. And then here, just for reference, here is my favorite, my favorite white boat. Look at that. That's pretty good to come in a toolkit. Yeah, I'll take that. Throw that that way, this way. And then what else do we have? Did I show you the rest of this stuff? So then it's the, then it's kind of the typical, more typical, the four placer, the grippy, and then the 10 placer, and those, the very nice black tweezers. All right, let's see what we have for diamond painting. I have to get, it's wrapped in that, in the shrink wrap. I might have to cut it just a little bit. I wish I could play music. I would play that song. Wiggle it. But I can't do that. Okay. It would be fun to be able to play all the music that we wanted to play. Back to the tape. Oh, I think I found the end. Yay. So when you can find the end, then let, I'm so glad I get to show you this. Look at how easy this is. This tape just pulls right off. Ta-da! Did you get to see the image there? Did you get a peek? All right, we're back to being wound too tight. So let's take a look at our back again to see our quality and wow. Pristine, right? You can't ask for better than that. That is gorgeous. Okay. And then I'm gonna speed it up while I open up all the corners, okay? Hey, here we go. They are rolled so tight, it is crazy. And look, see that? That was perfect, I just did that. Just in case you didn't notice in the fast speed that I wrecked that. Not, you know, which way does this go? Um, like this? Oh no, like, like this. <gasps> Ooh. And then about the stick on these, these are not skater glue stick. These are great. This is some stick stick. You would still be able to make your corrections if you put a drill down wrong to move it. But just know that this is not skater glue. This is really good stick. Oh, I just pulled it off. That's all right. Because I want you to see all the way at the top. So we'll just pull it all the way off. <gasps> Yay! Oh, now you can see why that 310 is so... Oh, big look at, look at how ginormous this thing is. What is it? It's a 40 by 50, but it just feels really big. You are going to have a lot of multi-placing on this guy. Wow, you could get that done really quickly. You want to see the key? Here, I'll show you. Look at this. Look at this drill field. It's almost like, oh my gosh, make you, you could meditate to that. Just zone out to that stuff right there. Here is, I have to be care, super careful now because I don't have any paper on here. Um, 40 by 50, here is your key. And did I say how many colors yet? Anyone, anyone? Did I use Bueller already today? 32. And then there's the, I really think it goes like that, right? That makes sense to put it like that. For your thumbnail. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, I did it. I did it. I didn't ruin it. So this is our last one. But oh, we got to look at the drills. Let's look at the drills, you guys, because I bet these are some beautiful colors. Do you want to watch me? Here. 
I'll speed it up. You can watch me try and get the paper back on real quick. That should be good for a laugh or two. Not bad at all. Here's the only thing about this. The adhesive is so far off the road. Oops, sorry. On this side, look, even with this much, you can see where the canvas is. Even with that much off the canvas, look at where the stick is still. Holy cow, there's still more. I'll put um, probably scotch tape or something along that edge to take that up. Because that matches perfectly. All right, let's look at drills. I am really excited to see these colors. This would be really fun for multi-placing. You know, this would be great if you were a beginner at a 10-placer. You could get a lot of practice with a 10-placer on this. You would be a pro by the time you finish with this. Sometimes, I mean, I just like diamond paintings for different things. They don't always have to be things that I'm going to, that I are works of art and I want to hang up. They can just be things that are fun to do, you know? Just have a good time diamond painting, not necessarily for the... I mean, you're always going to get a gorgeous end result, but <gasps> look at this. <laughs> Eight, what does it say? 18,822. 310. Oh, yeah. That's a multi-placing opportunity if I've ever seen one. But look at these. Here's 666 and um, pink, burgundy, peach. Oops. And you want to see up close, maybe you can see better in these light colors, the quality of the squares. Oh, this is a cool pinkish, I don't know what you want to call that. There's a lot of pink in here. There's got to be purple too though, huh? Is that 154? Sure enough. Oh, look at the green. That is a gorgeous army green. Um, you know what though? I thought, oh, well, here we go. But I thought there'd be more purple than this. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. But here we are with some purples. But it's not a lot, right? Maybe it was only one of the flowers? No, it's two of the flowers. I guess you can get it done in this much. But right, so let me count it up. I said, um, whatever I said. One. We're perfect at 32. Someone's, I've got some scroungers around here, but uh, I think everything's closed. So they're probably just some scragglers that got thrown in. Uh, okay, so that's the end. That's the end of the second part of the GBFKE haul. Thank you to GBFKE as always for giving me these diamond paintings for free for review. I appreciate all of their diamond paintings. I haven't had any problems yet. I don't think I've had so many. I'll have to go back and, and make sure that's true. But um, man, they are fun. They are fun to work with. The uh, diamond paintings are fun to work on and they're at great prices. You guys, you can't beat that. All right, let's, let's close the day on the pink. All right, have a good one.